Hi Shirley, this is a response to your video of the scale and uh, Love Me Tender. Thank you very much for your patience waiting for my response. I'm sorry, it's very busy here with the lots of students and, and children and I'm also recording a few things as well. So the way uh, that I see it, it was very good, very well prepared, good job. Um, what I, I can see right away, uh, there's so many things to, to talk about, but um, the main, main items that really can be focused on is that uh, more calm and relaxed standing you're too much engaged with your whole body and moving a lot and kind of uh, participating with everything too much i would recommend to stand more calm and still and not uh, not try to move your upper body as much as that uh, the, the feeling that your hands are playing, nothing else is playing, only your hands. So, practice that stillness, you make videos, make uh, yourself not move at all. In, in, in your shoulders and uh, sh moving around in a different uh, uh, way on, of your whole body and just stay still and only have your hands playing that kind of forceful uh, I remember dealing with that too a lot in my university years and all the teachers were very particular about uh, not moving your upper body as much then uh, once you relax that and just work with your hands uh, you can start um, thinking of spe more specific hands actions that could be improved uh, for example uh, leaving fingers on the string more i can still see your fingers like that in the air up on the high positions on your scale and when you are shifting always first finger has to anchor you it's always on anchoring whole hand in that position on the way back especially it's very important to have feeling of the position shifting gears and not letting go that first finger that uh, a more solid positioning once you uh, and 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 in a love me tender was a very high uh, first finger was not uh, in the right place and everything was kind of high if you listen you can hear uh, uh, a bit on the high side of the intonation so I was not sure about the order of events in your scale I asked to play it slow half note long long and then slurring slurring four per bow four per bow eight per bow eight per bow eight per bow eight per bow so everything has to be in the same beat i wish you recorded it at once instead of all these little videos um and next time i recommend to just really practice your scale like a piece start very slow <laughs>
left hand more clean left hand definitely and also keeping the same tempo for all your different bowings okay same bow same beat for all of the different divisions of the of the short and long note so long, half note Um, half note for the one per bow, quarter notes slurry, eight notes for four per bow, sixteen, uh, eight per bow. It's a sixteenth notes. Same same beat. Just like that. <laughs> That's what we're going to work on, this uniform uh, uh, rhythm. So that, uh, these are my main things. Stand still, let your hands play. Don't be so engaged with your shoulders and your upper body. Uh, too much uh, nerve kind of uh, uh, extra stuff that we don't need. Think first, prepare and then start playing right away no trying 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 and fingers on the fingerboard glue them there don't lift them these are my main things and for the etude there will be a different video okay so thank you very much i will talk to you soon and very nice job